Hello everyone, and welcome back for more messenger. As you can see, we only spent three hours on the game so far. Three hours? It felt a heck of a lot longer than that. Also, I to find out we did four or five. Definitely felt like it, didn't it? <laughs> right, let's see, what's our progress? We have two of the notes. We have one of the Phobkins, and we're still missing an ability and some junk. From what I recall. Alright, tell me what to do! Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> I know what? what to do. So in the cemetery, an, ally, an, an enemy turned ally has an important item. Yeah, I know what we okay. need to do. We need to go to the catacombs. Okay, that part I figured, but... Our boy... Oh, uh, oh yeah, we've got to get that amulet for the staff, don't we? Yep, our boy, the necromancer, did actually decide to be a good guy. Instead of just pretending like to be that. I love it that it doesn't spell it out for you, but it gives you enough there that you can actually work it out for yourself. Well, that might have been done for, a, for the sake of a joke, all things considered. Yeah. <laughs> nope! There we go. That was close. Too close. I still hope we're gonna see more of those Cyclops, though. They were the best. Mmm... <laughs> We might, but I doubt it. Because at this point, I can't really think of any other reason to go back to them. Besides, maybe for more uh, power seals. But I don't think it involves them anymore. Ah, oh, well. I still enjoyed our time with them. They were great. Yep. Just a couple of flexing idiots. Flexing so hard, we made a thing which we need to collect. <laughs> they literally made music of power. It reminds me of the Muscle Wizard from D&D 3.5. <laughs> what? You don't know the Muscle Wizard? No. So, as a wizard, there is a specific... I think it's a wizard, I mean, it might be a sorcerer. But there was a specific... in a, uh, I can't remember the name of the slap book, I can probably go find it. But there was a specific prestige class thing called a Cancer Mage. The first level of which allowed you to ignore all negative effects of disease. In the same book, there was a disease that reduced, I think it was your intelligence and wisdom by two, and your and increased your strength by two. This was cumulative per day. Oh. So what would happen is you deliberately affect, like affect yourself with this particular illness or virus, and there, if you said it was part of your backstory and had a bit of a clueless DM, you could immediately go, "Well, I've I've had it for seven years. I'm just going to apply seven times three hundred and sixty-five times two to us to, and add that strength to my character." Ouch! And what you get is a wizard that had scaling to infinite strength. And we're talking strength enough to literally one-shot gods, eventually, if you had the disease for multiple decades. So what you do is, as a wizard, you then go and try and get some form of immortality, or go on a very long journey, or something like that. So that by the end of it, you just had shed loads and shed loads of strength. And then at... I can't remember what level it was, but there's basically a feat called leadership that allows you to have a bunch of like little NPCs following you around. You take leadership, then you take a specific feat that allows your leadership to be keyed to your strength stat as opposed to your charisma stat. And now you are literally leading an army by the sheer power of your muscles. This sounds like an exploit. <laughs> <laughs> it basically was. The devs never thought about it. And I'm fairly sure it probably got eroded very, very quickly. But for a brief moment, it was. it was just... It was the greatest thing. 
I heard about this and like if I ever play 3.5, I know exactly what I'm doing. Oh shit. I didn't oh. realize it was a bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a dick move. That's a massive fucking dick move. I didn't realize it was a bit there. <laughs> Oh well. But yeah, it's referred to as the Muscle Wizard, and it is probably the most broken thing in 3.5, and given we're talking about 3.5 here, that's saying something. Well, it says something to people who know what that is. 3.5 is just broken as shit. It was extremely easy to power game the fuck out of your character, and approach like godlike stats at near low levels. I'm guessing this is D&D. &D. Yeah, 3.5. Okay. It's also one of the sources of the Eikhoft Fist meme. Since that's basically all you did as a muscle wizard. You're like, what spells have you prepared? Ah ha ha! I'm going to punch him. <laughs> that's literally it. That's all you needed to do. Because when you're wielding something like 1d4 times, you know, whatever the hell your modifier is, which at points could reach hundreds. You could literally one-shot gods. It was ridiculous. It does sound ridiculous. Oh yeah. Oh dear. <laughs> does that spiked ball have a face? Yes, it does indeed. <laughs> Why does it have a face? Why not? You know, I can't think of a reason as to why it wouldn't have a face. This is supposed to be a lair of an evil necromancer, after all. <laughs> quote-unquote evil, quote-unquote necromancer. Oh, hey, he was supposed to be evil, but then he decided to quit. After we beat the shit out of him. We do need to approach the boss area in the future. Because in the past, he's probably still alive and kicking. Or he's just not here. Who knows? Are we just in his bedroom or something? Ah, shit, I went the other way. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> I'm back here again. Oh, by the way, only 500 more uh, gems to go. For that massive oh, upgrade. Well, we'll get the upgrade by the end of today. Thank God. Definitely. Uh, after the recording last time, I decided to do uh, an attempt to get that achievement I mentioned last time, where you have to get to the boss in Quilshroom Marsh without getting killed. Did you manage it? Yep. From, oh, the nice. first, from the first try, no less. <laughs> Very nice. This goes to show you your fucking skill to this game. It was uh, quite invigorating to do that, too. Did you ever get low on health and just start freaking the fuck out? No, actually. <laughs> I guess I just had a really lucky run. Eh, yeah, shit. Here we go. <laughs> oh, that's just a combined dick move. Well, this can't is go the... too high, can't go too low. This is the future. It's supposed to be a more difficult, which is fine. Hmm. Ah, it's this place. Gotta take this time portal, else you got nowhere to go. <laughs> you really fell in the middle of that. That would have been fucking hilarious. Oh. Yeah, fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> fuck that place. I got shit to do. <laughs> I'd rather not get crushed today if that's alright by you, game. This is kind of annoying to get into, but here we go. <laughs> I love that he has pictures of himself fucking everywhere. 
Uh, it's better than Boogermeister's picture, so let me tell you that. Okay. <laughs> True that. The heck is this? Ah, this is the entrance to the dark fucking cave that you need the power of true sight for. Or just rote memorization. Yep. That also works. <laughs> they want you to do this without actually seeing anything to get an achievement. Oh, I'm guessing a very, very small number of players have gotten that achievement. I have no idea, I didn't check the stats. <laughs> ah, sweet. How many runs would it take to memorize this fucking route? Hmm, good question. Probably a what lot. What the heck is that? It's a morph ball zone. Mm, oh, wait a minute. I'm doing this wrong. Shit. <laughs> wrong button. Need to hit this. Oh, yeah, just the because bolt. it just because it ain't on the screen doesn't mean you can't see it. Hmm, I didn't really have to run for it. It still opened the door. Ah, now this... you're here! Uh, this leads to a um, s some other place, but I forget the name for it. <laughs> New area with acid waterfalls. Man, Boogermeister sure fucked this place up. Bloody heck, he did. Yeah, shit! <laughs> no, 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 no! <laughs> Nice. There we go. Well, it definitely looks better this in the future. Me of a, this reminds me of one of those god-awful levels in World 7 of Sonic Advance 3. Why am awful? <laughs> there were these god-awful levels where you had to constantly get on a platform. But if you missed the platform, you had to restart the whole level. Oh. <laughs> well, that doesn't sound good. So, like, there'd be obstacles in the middle of the platform, so you'd have to constantly go... Okay, now it really reminds me of a Sonic level. What the fuck is this bumper shit? Bumper plant. Man, yeah, I, I like bumper balls better. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Okay, so this is... That's great. So this is... Uh... Riviera Turquoise. I guess you could just call it Turquoise River. It is li yeah, it basically, it literally just means Blue River. It is the most redundant fucking name in the universe. It's not very blue here. <laughs> it looks kind of no, fucked up. No, it's very up. green. But Turquoise is, I believe it's supposed to be like, very slightly blue-green. <laughs> I think this is a bit if more. I remember my colors, if I remember my colors correctly. So someone clearly had a very liberal interpretation of slight. I still love that you can just backflip constantly. <laughs> it's great. All games it? need a dedicated backflip button. More like backflail button. <laughs> ah, bitch! I hate when they do this shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was a dick move. Fuck, I want that stupid upgrade. It's annoying that I have to keep wailing on these slow-ass bastards. I want to know if anyone's actually managed to get through the entire game without dying. Yeah, I'm pretty sure game someone has. It's hard at points. I'm pretty sure someone has. <laughs> Probably. They probably went back and attempted to do a speedrun of it without dying. Bitch. <laughs> I was hoping to cheat the system. You've only died 19 times. I expected that number to be higher, if I'm gonna be honest. 
Because I remember you dying a lot last time for something kind of bullshit. That's a good thing then, that I didn't die that many times. Fuck off. This bastard always shooting at me. Yes! Nice! Fucking finally. Now all we gotta do is find a uh, checkpoint. And get through the rest of this area. Which is kinda oh, long, dear. actually. <laughs> well, that's the safest way of doing it. Oh, now that's a fuck you. Talk about precision platforming. There we go. Ah, oh, now you can buy the hint. You're only a couple hundred off. Mm, that's later. That's later. And these, well, these are map upgrades, so we'll get them later as well. Yeah. Who needs map upgrades when we have... Well, I can go on GameFAQ and find a map. <laughs> Nah, fuck that shit. Where am I? I believe you have found the sacred grove known as Rivier Turquoise. It looks like a lot has taken place here. You bet! With your perspective as a time traveler, you should be able to see it in both states. This area used to be ruled by demons and completely charred. Until one day, a powerful messenger drove them out and brought in the Butterfly Matriarch so that the grove could heal and become lush again. Worth like a charm. So if I'm seeing the charred grove in my present time, no, and the restored version in the future, don't go there. Does that mean there's been a messenger in between my two time periods? I'm paradox plot <laughs> <laughs> You should decide. Thanks for ruining the show. Can't you just enjoy the contrast? <laughs> what a bastard. Okay. <laughs> oh, that's great. That's fucking great. I love it. I love this game. So if you have all of the map upgrades, you'll be told that there is a power seal above you. How exactly do you get to it though? You may be wondering. I have no fucking clue. Because you can't climb Jumped on this. Really high. You can't climb on this. This isn't a climbable surface. Well I know what, what you need to do. You need to take a leap of faith. And find this thing oh, down you're here. Oh, you fucking kidding me. <laughs> you have to find what? that fucking thing down there so you can take the oh, shot up a, here. Oh, that's a fucking asshole. Here we go. That gets this thing out of the way. Now let's collect the monus. Well, whatever little there is of it. This well, reminds me of... Like what the? This reminds me of Revenge oh. of Shinobi for some reason. This reminds me of that first level of Super Mario 2. Does that it? waterfall. I got stuck on that as a little kid for the longest time. Well... I haven't, I haven't played it. <laughs> Fucking bird, get out of here! Okay, this isn't gonna work. <laughs> yeah, shit. Oh, dang. Ah, shit! Get out of the way! Bastard. Fucking bats! 
Birds fucking this. bats, man. Anything that flies in this game is a piece of shit. There we go. Yes, provide me the climbable surface. <laughs> This was fucking spike, sure looks sharp. Oh yeah, you can hit them with shurikens by the way. That's pretty useful. Useful to remember. <laughs> Especially, yeah. Especially in places like these where they're racing the spikes. We definitely raised the stakes here. <laughs> hey, you're almost there. You'd think this is mega money, but it isn't. Unfortunately, it isn't. Aww. Boo. Power seal? Ah uh, no, this is just the way to go. Cause it looks like it'd lead to some kind of cool loot. Well it did with this, I guess. Nice, only 139 to go. We almost there, boys! <laughs> what the fuck is this? Now this is Lion King, and not in a good way, by the way. <laughs> Here we go. This Missed should be one. good. Yeah, bitch. <laughs> this should be good now. Hell yeah. Ooh, there's a way to go right. Yeah, I kind of need this. <laughs> yeah, you kind of need to get rid of that. And then deal with those two up there. Yeah, this should be good. That one and the one below it. Let's -a go. Bitch. Damn it, even more of these fucking things. Hmm. I think that should be right. Well, the two up there look okay. Something goes to the right. What's well, I guess we'll on? find out. Probably a power seal. Could be. Could be nothing. Could be money! Could be mega money! Oh, give me money, 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 nice. money, money, money. We have reached the year 2012. <laughs> Excellent. Now we just need to find one of them checkpoints. Don't forget to switch it back around. Hmm, how do I cancel this? <laughs> <laughs> Shit. Well, it'll cancel for you just in a second. There you go. Oh dear. <laughs> 